14, uh, I guess 14 limousine, it was, uh, th these cars were built especially for the uh, Soviet government, government, for mm -hmm. example, Mr. Brezhnev used this car, he, he drove this car by himself too. Really? Yes, he was a very famous <laughs> driver. And uh, it was a story when he was a driver for President Nixon once. If you ever heard. When Nixon visited When Nixon Russia. visited Moscow. He drove. Yes. He, he Brezhnev he drove, drove. In the car. And Brezhnev was the driver. Wow. That's true. I bet the Secret Service loved that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true story. <laughs> anyway, uh, um, the idea was to make uh, um, dress, dress, dress watches uh, more classical than, mm -hmm. uh, than for example, energy. It's Which totally different right. style. Right. Of course. Not so trendy and fashion like uh, this. Mm -hmm. More traditional, kind of, more, more traditional. Uh, looks more simple. Mm -hmm. It's not simple, but it's not simple. Not simple in right. reality. Right. And uh, finally, uh, this case was designed and made. Uh, what's interesting in this uh, design? The, the, as I told you already, the case looks simple, but in reality these legs and the facets of these mm -hmm. legs was very difficult to produce to, to make to make them strict, sharp and well polished. Mm -hmm. Second one was to idea was to make dual time uh, watch having no bezel like we have on like on rock. One rock or the T one forty four. Yes. And our engineer constructor, Gennady Sukov, made uh, together of course with Constantine they made special mechanism of rotation of inner ring. Mm -hmm. It's absolute original construction. We never mm -hmm. saw nothing similar in any other brand. And uh, the idea you was... Built, you built it yourself from the ground up. This was... Yes. A, you engineered and yes. built it. Yes. Okay. And um, this second ground rotates uh, inner ring mm -hmm. and you can hear the certain clicks. Mm -hmm. It's very... Um, because there is a spring ball inside, mm -hmm. which picks ring in each position. And, it, and the sound, it's the sound of spring ball, which picks locking into place. Lock in each hole. It's very smooth. This is one of those things that I can't convey in, in a video, um, really, no matter how much. This is one of those things that when you get the watch home, you'll really see. The, the, the action is, it just glides. It's like it's on like it's on air. It just glides and then when it gets to the position, it locks it in, as Igor was just describing. And you don't have to worry then about, you know, if you set it on the time zone you want it to be on, you don't have to worry about it, a bump moving it to a different position. It's going to stay locked, but it's not, it's not difficult at all with, with when you're doing it by hand to just slip it right out of that position and then it'll lock right into the next one. It is a really, for the, for the again, for the, for the price, for the, for the cost value equation, it's amazing how, I mean, I've, I've you know, handled uh, watches 10 times as expensive within a rotating bezels that, that don't have the smooth action that this one does. Mm -hmm. Are you, you think about patenting that? What? Pat, patenting, uh, you know, getting a patent for that, uh, I'm taking this so that you know. I because somebody I, you know. My, so. my opinion. You, okay, we will pay for the patent. Anybody who wants to copy will copy. Copy it anyway. And we patent. will not find a reason to take money from here. Yeah. So it's not reasonable to. Because you know somebody's going to take the watch apart and see how it was done. Of course. So and this one has five dials. Now I. One of the things about this watch that I particularly like, now there are two models that have non-numeric indicators that just have the, um, uh, I don't mean just in a negative way, but they, they, they have the simple stick on the, uh, the stick lines on the chapter ring. But there are three of these that have um, these Art Deco style numbers on the chapter ring, and they are actually designed to look just like the clock oh, yes. that was in the dash of, of, the, of the limo. Mm -hmm. And um, this, so when you, when you see the dial on here, 
it, it, it is very, and I've seen pictures of it, and actually I'm, I'm going to look around on the internet and try to find one for this, for this segment. So hopefully, while I'm saying this, you'll be seeing a picture of the actual clock. Um, it really does look like they just pulled this out of the dash. Same shape. Same figures. shape, same, same uh, chapter ring. It, it, you know, I would, I would assume um, that uh, obviously the only big difference would be there wasn't a dual time function in the, in the car. But the inner dial, the, the core yes. dial of the watch is the same as the clock was in the car. So it, no, the badge never didn't need dual time. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> Probably because, not. <laughs> because he traveled only from Kremlin to his summer house. Not far. He wasn't crossing the time zones then.